Let's talk about monetization. Uh, it's a quite interesting topic. So what are some of the newer ways alternative data being monetized? You can think of data as kind of the nutrients or fuel that uh, is going to enable a, a whole new era of digital solutions. I've been involved in what we're calling knowledge management for Gen AI, where once you get past your initial use cases, let's say the most typical one is coding, programming, and, and reducing programming time, it really is a huge productivity enhancer for developers quality checking code, uh, a variety of things like that. And you start to say, how can I go deeper within a company or a sector? That's where you start to get into specialized knowledge. And I think those specialized knowledge data sets are going to be what differentiates or distinguishes firms that uh, grow competitively because they'll have information that used to be the purview of, of you know, highly trained and experienced individuals. Those individuals can now create agents based upon what they know. There's the old joke about the person who was asked to fix a, tr a train engine that didn't work, and he walks around the train engine, and then he opens up his toolbox, takes a wrench, and gives it a whack, and then the train engine starts, the locomotive starts, and the town, the town says, how much do we owe you? He says, $1,000. They say, well, can you give me that itemized bill? And he says, sure, hitting the train, $10, knowing where to hit it, 990 the idea being that knowledge is a valuable asset. So for people with specialized skills, the ability to put them into a digital format and then make them almost componentized and extendable, that's a really exciting future. These data sets are going to be developed by specialists with the knowledge, with the ability to determine what the market needs. And then there's going to be a whole economy uh, built up around really, really trading knowledge and skills in a digital format in a way that we've never done before.